protein is food to the doorsteps of the people. Their affordability and they, their interest to eat meat will definitely produce the next generation, a healthy generation. That is what is required. Without healthy generation, uh, how much of wealth and uh, how much of uh, prosperity you create, uh, without there being a, a healthy generation to enjoy it, uh, that would go waste. Therefore, the fishery, fish, the abundant availability of fish in the rural areas has increased the health of the rural people like anything. We often go to the maternity hospitals that are maintained by government, especially with a special focus. The maternity and child care centers that are beautifully developed in the entire state across all the districts. So whenever we visit the hospitals, we feel with great proud that the young born ch children, just born children and their mothers are so healthy. And the doctors, they, they say that it is because of the nutrition that the mother takes during her pregnancy that the child is so healthy, sir. We, we really feel very happy. See, unless you keep the food rightly available to the people, unless you make the people to afford themselves to have their choice food, their quality food, you cannot expect a, a healthy generation for the future. So these are all the parameters how you are building a next generation. And uh, warehouse capacity with cold storages has to be increased. That we are already on the agenda. The international airport with 1,50,000 metric tons ca cargo capacity is already available to the industry. We have single window clearances under Telangana industrial policy, the best policy in the world so far. We have already developed food parks, logistic parks, and supply chain infrastructure under the leadership of Sri K.T. Ramarao Garu. Honorable Chief Minister has already directed various departments to identify more than 10,000 acres of land in and around all the district headquarters, present district headquarters, so that agro food processing, special food processing zones are established over there, and they, be, they will be allotted to the food processing units. And uh, we have a lot of potential for development of uh, the food crops, which are mostly needed across the world, like sweet orange, turmeric, chili, lemon, grapes, mango, peanut, pomegranate, poultry, rice, maize, ginger, banana, papaya, onion, sunflower, oil palm, soya bean, inland fisheries. These are all the areas where focus can be had and food processing units can be set up basing on these raw materials. So we do have certain challenges. We can easily overcome them. How to address them? Supply chains must be more resistant to global disruptions like pandemic climate. Surplus management and food wastage reduction. Steps have to be taken and envisaged. Increased consumer demand on traceability and food safety. Prolonged shelf life and optimizing energy usage. Innovation in low-cost indigenous technologies. Establishment of strong backward linkages to ensure food security. Improved access to financial resources. Cost competitiveness. Innovations in productions. And uh, the innovative steps to be taken. Explore ancient recipes use locally sourced ingredients, research on alternative proteins, popularize regional cuisines, revolution in packing. If all these challenges can be taken up and met, ultimately, we will be the number one in the entire world in the area of food processing. And definitely, I hope and I believe very strongly that in the future to come, it is only states like Telangana, leadership like Telangana will be able to provide 
the quality food to the world and the world will definitely be dependent on the food items of Telangana and I hope that it will be achieved with your support, with your endeavor and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you one and all.